about it, balloons used to be basic. A little helium, a little string, and you had yourself this floating bouquet. But the last couple of years, women have unleashed some serious creat creativity on this humble party supply, and we've been trying to keep up. You saw the gold numbers, the gold letters, there was the, the arch, there was the garland. Well, now we're kind of advancing it just a little bit. There's one concept that been, has been reserved for professional party planners and commercial events until today. Studio 5 creative contributor Kelly Loniker has been doing her research. She's put in some practice and she has cracked the code on the giant balloon filled foam core letters that will serve as the statement at your next party or your next event. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Isn't it fun? If you want a wow, this is a wow, this right? This is a wow. These are how tall? Five feet. Five feet yep. tall. The big guys, the smaller? Uh, about uh, two and a half, three feet. This is really fun. Insane. And really, it used to be only the pros that could pull this off, but you're saying the and average... And they should... No, no, no. <laughs> you're like, well, maybe well, we should... Well, let me... No, no, no. The average person can totally do this. Okay. You just have to be realistic about the time and just really think, okay, how much time commitment do I want? This is like a time over money thing to me, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, someone was just saying they rented four letters and they didn't even have balloons in them. They were like $500 just oh to rent, goodness. right? They just had lights in them. So this like total commitment, you've yeah. only got a hundred bucks in the balloons and the foam and everything, but you're going to have the trade-off and then it's going to take you some time. There's always that trade-off, right? right? But exactly. when you compare $500 for four for rented four letters. four balloon filled letters. And you did this for less than a hundred. Absolutely. Yep. Wow, time. It's time. How much so time? This whole thing, you're probably looking 30 plus hours. Wow. It's a lot. Yeah. But I did it in little chunks. So I would just like come home from work one day and do the foam on one letter. Uh -huh. So it didn't feel quite as painful until I added up all the time together. <laughs> and like, then Ouch. it feels a little more time. But the thing is, you don't have to do something this big uh -huh. to make a statement. I feel like one monogram letter or a number totally. at a party, you can crack that out in one afternoon, like need like three to four hours with balloons and foam and everything, mm -hmm. and you're done. And it's still just such a fun factor to add in. So I've heard of an Amazon option where you can buy an Amazon letter. So you can, but you still have to build it. And so you're looking mm -hmm. at like $40 for a three foot letter on Amazon. To me, if, I, if it's gonna come to me and I'm still gonna have to assemble it, I might as well just start from scratch. Let's right? just make it. That's my opinion. What's the supply list? Okay, so foam core dollar store, which can we just mourn for a minute that the dollar store is now $1.25? It just has to be said. Um, it's so tragic. $1.25, it doesn't quite have the same It doesn't, to it. I know, but that's okay. It only, you know, put our costs yeah. up a little bit. But $1.25 foam board. Um, the cool thing about this is you can stick these together. Okay, okay. so this is a 20 by 30 board mm -hmm. to start out with, mm -hmm. but you can take some white duct tape or packing tape and stick four of these together mm -hmm. to make a five foot letter. Okay. okay, okay. So flat surface, okay. Then you're gonna need some basic crafting supplies. I use a balloon blower because there's no way I'm blowing up 500 balloons by mouth, <laughs> good right? Girl. Yeah. Um, glue gun, you need a good razor knife. Okay. So, and I changed out my blade several times in this project. So good once you know. start fighting with it, just get the new blade. Okay. Um, packing tape or duct tape, glue sticks, foam, and then a good cutting surface. This is just like a quilting mat that I never use for quilting, but you know, it works great. <laughs> and then this wide ruler made it a breeze just because I did a lot of the letters just freehand. And so that made it so easy just to straight line it down. I walked okay. in the studio and, and Kelly was working that mat and that, that knife like a boss. You were like, <laughs> Just Baroom. keep it down. Yeah. The other thing I wanna say about this project is this is definitely wow from a distance don't worry about all the little perfectionist if you sit and try and make every seam perfectly even mm -hmm. let's leave that to the professionals let's just get it done get a fun statement piece out there don't stress the little pieces of hot glue or the little yeah. seams that maybe aren't matching it perfectly you're going to double your time if you worry about big that. impact is not about little details perfect yes. absolutely yeah okay so to make one of these mm. um first of all on the five foot letters mm -hmm. you can create there's people selling if you just google um foam five foot foam letters you can find templates. If you're a template person, you can print a template, then you're gonna tape the template together. It's gonna be about 20 sheets of paper. You can lay it on your foam core and cut it out. I am not that person, which is just fine. <laughs> so what I did is I freehanded like the T, I just freehanded because that's easy, right? That feels really impressive to me that you did that. Well, it's just measuring in straight lines, okay. right? So um, the, but the other letters I actually took my little mini projector uh -huh. on my computer screen, I put a big R okay. and then I took my little mini projector and projected it onto the foam, like old Smart. school, like old school overhead projector. What my mom did in right? her kindergarten yes. classroom. 
or go to a school and see if they have an overhead projector that will use. Sure. And then I just drew it on, cut it out. So for letters with a curve like the P or the R, that would be really helpful. Right, it's gonna be way easier. Yeah. So um, first step, get your foam board, create your template. So I this one- I keep gasping because I'm so excited. It's just so fun. So this is a one, we're just gonna do a really simple one, yeah. right? This one I just literally created by making lines. Okay. Okay. Easy. Yes. Okay, next step, we're gonna throw this here. Next step. Cut it out. Right. So now we've got our cutout. Okay. Okay. Then you're gonna decide the height that you want your base to be. The big letters are an eight inch um, height on the walls. Okay. So that's really gonna depend on. Do you um, mean like here? From, or what from side eight to eight side. So this oh, angle side here. Yep, so this angle here okay. is eight inches high. Gotcha. Because I wanna be able to put a bigger balloon in those bigger letters. Okay, okay. As you get to smaller letters, you're gonna want a smaller wall because you don't wanna have to put as big of balloons because they won't fit widthwise. Gotcha. Make sense? Okay, mm -hmm. the key here is if you want to be perfect, you can use painter's tape, tape this on, and then hot glue it. Mm -hmm. I am not that person. <laughs> So We're celebrating the person I, you are. I know, and I love it. You yes, know, it's great. Okay, yes. so I just used packing tape. Okay. Because it, it just doesn't bother me to see the packing tape. Uh-huh. Put a stick there, so I've got uh -huh. on my edge. This uh -huh. is pre-measured. Uh-huh. And then you're just literally like building blocks. It's kind of like Legos, and it is kind of fun. And then I just pull this up. That's so satisfying. Right? Yes. Now, I do go back once the whole thing is built. So you can imagine you're going to go around, and uh -huh. you're just going to build this little guy. Create your little right? cape. Yep. And then once it is all built and taped, I do take some hot glue and just go down all the seams mm -hmm. just to kind of secure it so it doesn't isn't as bendy. Okay. Okay. To reinforce. Um, one little trick, well, two little tricks. One little trick for a straight corner is if I want to do this corner without two different pieces, I can measure it. So I'll just do a quick there measure she goes, here. Working the tools. I know, right? This is my eyeballing, right? And then instead of cutting all the way through this, I'm just going to score it. You're folding on the corner. Yep, and then it makes this nice little corner. Does everyone appreciate the genius that is Kelly Loniker? This is well, amazing. Well, it just takes a few tries. Anyway, oh, and that was pretty good because it actually fit both sides. So then I, I would saying. glue that, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, when you get to a curve, so when I have the R or the P, I've got some curves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So all you're gonna do is do that same score technique, but in little teeny increments. Okay. I didn't even measure these, but you know, half inch, inch, depending on how so not tight it is. all the way through, just kind of gracing the surface. Right, yep, just not through to, because the foam core has like basically poster board, foam, poster board. So okay. you want to cut through the first poster board and a little into the foam. See, and now she's teaching us the anatomy of the foam <laughs> core board. I mean, it she's never so stops. smart. It never stops. <laughs> okay, so if I had this curve here, yeah. now you can see this will just lay right over that. Right. Make Lovely. sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, with the balloons, mm -hmm. all of the wall starts at the back of the wall. With the lights, instead of starting at the back, I glued them right into the center like this. Mm -hmm. Got mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. So that way I have kind of a front and a back and I yes. have more play with the and lights. And the lights can pop through. Yes. Let's talk about sourcing what you filled these with because there's an art to the balloons. You went big and little. That combination, I think, kills it. It makes it. You're going to need way more littles than big. So the key is you want to find a source that will give you a 12 inch or a nine inch and a five inch in the same color. Okay. Okay, so I have a great source, we'll link to that for really inexpensive that you can buy in all sizes. Okay. So big and little, you want probably, this used a hundred littles of five colors. Wow. You want a lot of littles. Okay. And so let me tell you why. As you fill in, you're gonna start filling in with your bigs first. Okay. And one little trick, I'm gonna show you how to size this one. So uh -huh. one little trick is, as I, if I have a spot to fill, mm -hmm. I'm gonna fill it bigger and then I'm just gonna kind of size it down mm -hmm. until it'll just kind of squeeze right in there. And then tie. Yep, and then the way you get this in is with a low melt glue gun. Okay. So you don't wanna use it on full high heat or you're gonna pop things. Yep. But again, I'm just not that picky about it and I just I love it. stick it down there. I bet the most fun part of this project was adding the little guys at the it end, is, right? It is, because it's like, so they call these mosaics and uh -huh. it's because you get all these little babies uh -huh. and the babies just fit in. You wanna do, I think it's fun to kind of have a couple different colors, but again, you'll just glue those in, yeah. fill in all your little gaps until it's full. Kelly, this is amazing. And so quickly, fun. Source on the lights if people wanna go. I mean, who wants to do the so, lights after we've seen these balloons? But right, the lights are a fun But the light, it's fun to kind of mix and match them, I think. So the lights are just an Amazon. I mean, you 
you can get these for like $10 for a box. Okay. To do those, I took a um, little knife and cut into the foam in like a little star shape mm -hmm. and then just pushed the light through it and it held it perfectly. We so. have the box of lights over there. So all in all, really inexpensive project. Huge impact, just the time. Yeah. We just have to accept the time. But you've shown us some great cheats and some great hacks. Are, are you going to do this again? Did you do this for a, a party? Single, well, I'm going to save these forever and use them yes. at every party. Right, they're going to go up in my garage right. and they're going to get pulled out for every party. But a monogram, absolutely yes. Like okay. at a wedding, a bridal shower or something, how cute would it be to have like an M&N or yeah. something like that? Yeah. Totally doable. We don't have time to talk about the colorway, but Kelly mentioned that source, that balloon source she found that has awesome colors, both in big and little sizes. So go to the Studio 5 website to check out that source and to see this tutorial. Thank you. You're so like, welcome. Like, that's amazing that you did that, and now we all learn from it and benefit. So fun. Such an impact.